Welcome back to the Idrisian Kingdom campaign. We are still in the middle of the end turn. There's no way in hell I'm actually going to fight this because it would just be a waste of time. Of course, that said, I could probably do a little bit better than the AI and that would make it easier to retake this city, but whatever. I'd rather not have like two episodes almost back to back that are just an hour long losing battle. Wise man helps his friends in times of trouble. Do you need an extra you, sword against these people? Are you not already at war with the pirates, my dude? No, I'm not paying you for that. Will you not give our people? All right, well, my ploy to ah, oh, you bastard. My ploy to try and draw these Egyptian armies away from Thapsacos did not work. Now over here, I've just seen a Nabataean army, but I don't know where they went. Since I am at war with Nabatea, I'm thinking I may fall back instead of taking Antioch. Antiochia. Antiochia. Whatever. I might fall back from here just because I don't know. Like, if I take losses as heavy as I would expect from trying to take that city, I'm not confident I could hold it. And what's the point in taking a city if you can't hold it? Okay, their armies would be two turns away from attacking me. I could potentially bring the Fury over to reinforce. And that would make the casualties a lot more manageable. If I remember right, Blunt's Bandits were just providing security for Candy's Conquerors over here. While they moved across to link up with the Fury, so Blunt's Bandits can probably go back to Tushpa. Okay, we're recruiting in Macedon and out here, so that's fine. Okay, let's not worry about over there just yet. Let's stay focused. Okay, actually, we will go over here and see what kind of recruitment we're working on. Okay, so we got some artillery. Now we need some archers. What kinds of archers can we get from here? It should just be, like, basic Cretan archers, I would expect. Or do I not even have those available? I don't even have those available. Okay, so let's move out over here and see what we can get. Nothing. I was hoping we could get something better. Um, I guess we'll just go ahead and pick up some of our basic Thracian archers and then keep running out here to reinforce our front line. This army is still on its way down. Their movement is very, very poor through that mountain pass. I should maybe have forced them to go around, even though it would be slower.
Now, what I could do, I could run the Fury over here, have them help take Antioch. I could run Candy's Conquerors into Edessa to hold it on defense. And then I could run Blunt's Bandits either back to Edessa to help reinforce it, or I could drop back to Tushpa to keep that front closed down. Because armies can't travel through here. Oh, they can travel through here. But that doesn't matter too much because that's a different faction there. Another option is I could go try and take Hatra. I don't really see the point in doing that, so in my mind that would be a stupid option. Let's just pull back to Tushpa for now. I don't think they have any armies within range to actually launch an attack on Tushpa, so I'm not going to garrison. Just because I don't want the public order penalty. Now the danger here is if I put Candy's Conquerors within range to actually attack these armies next turn, then that means they will also be in range to get attacked by those armies. So either I get offensive over here, or I get offensive over here. Wait, the Fury? Oh, I was going to say, I thought, the, I thought I'd already moved the Fury over here, and somehow they still had enough movement range to attack Palmyra, and I was shocked. Because that would be some incredible freaking movement range. Now, I need to take Thapsicos back quickly, because one, if I don't, the garrison will rebuild, and two, they will probably dismantle my buildings, which I actually really want back. Alright, well, let's do this. Let's leave Edessa. March these guys right up to the border. Make sure the Fury can actually reinforce. Go on. Go on. Really? You can't just... There you go. Okay, I'm going to put the Fury into a fortified stance, and if they attack either army, I hope it's the Fury. Well, maybe not. Maybe it would be better if they attacked Candy's Conquerors. Let's actually not put them into a fortified stance, because I would want the mobility so I could unify my armies. check the balance of power here. It's actually still pretty good in our favor. I mean, it should be better in our favor now than it was previously. Um... Their garrison's not really taking much attrition, it doesn't look like. Okay, we've lost six men per unit. They haven't lost any. So we're just going to start losing balance of power. So either I attack it and take it, or I pull back. They don't have any armies in range to launch a counterattack in one turn, so I think I can take it. I may also just loot it, because... If I've got enough public order, it wouldn't immediately cause a rebellion. And I could do with the money. Uh, okay, we'll go with that. Now, cavalry basically got decimated. Our infantry held up pretty well, though, so I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead and loot it. I'll take that 20 grand. It's gotten rid of the usurpers, which I'm also quite pleased about. You know what, let's actually, let's see, can I commit to holding this enough that I want to rebuild everything instead of dismantling it? Well, that's an easy choice, really. 
I don't want to do much more than that. Actually, I can't afford to because no one's in range to attack it. Are there any other units that I could merge effectively to use my manpower? It doesn't really look like it. Well, let's give these guys some attack for spears and some damage. Maybe. Yeah, let's give them some defense for spears as well. So what I was thinking about doing here, since my faction does have a cheaper building conversion cost, it may be wise to convert it, but it would take nine turns to finish. So am I confident I could hold this for nine turns? You know what? I'm going to commit to it. We'll go for fortified. And you know what? These buildings I don't actually have to convert, so I'm just going to repair that one. Yeah, I'm just going to repair those. This one I will still dismantle because I don't really care for it right now. Okay, we've handled our armies over here. I'm not going to put them in patrol because I'm not 100% sure they can't attack me. I'm not sure where this guy's second army went, but we're still not at war with him just yet. I think the pillagers together with the spearmen could maybe take on these armies. Maybe. But I think that's our eastern front managed. These guys are recruiting. I can't recruit any more armies, so let's not worry about that. Down here, I would love to get rid of that fleet, but obviously I can't do anything about them with my armies unless they attack me. Could these guys do with the missile damage? Not really. I think I'd rather get the cavalry bonus with them. You are fine to just keep sitting here. Our public order is actually in the positive here, which shocks me. How is our public order positive? Is it because of this? Whatever, I don't know. Let's keep boosting up our food. Now, any of these armies with their respective garrisons, I'm pretty confident could take on whatever the Carthaginians throw at me. finally starting to get all of our armies in position over here because I need to take Spain as quick as I can. We've got as many Massilian thorax hoplites as we can, as many of these kelto herenic swordsmen as we can get. We could probably do with more cavalry or more skirmishers here. As it stands, I think I'll go with the cavalry instead of the skirmishers. Because I just don't have anything special here for skirmishers, but I can get Celtic cavalry. Because so I want to use the foreigner population as much as I can, basically. So go with some light cav. Those will be my anti-missile cavalry. That should be plenty. These guys, can we start recruiting here yet? Spear build, and it sure doesn't have a lot of spears. Come, fight for us, lads. Okay, so there's actually not much point recruiting here just yet. Because we can only afford... You know what, we can get a bunch of these guys. They're pretty much garbage, but they'll help for now. I just want to get this army up to 20 men as quickly as possible because we need to start taking ground in Spain rapidly. We've just beaten a couple of Carthaginian armies over here. Beat them pretty decisively. Okay, Grumpy's Guard has the artillery, so let's go ahead and 
launch the attack. Yes, yeah, so they don't really have any armies here. I'm attacking the city, not the port, so my guys won't go out into the sea. Grumpy's Guard by itself has the balance of power. But we will obviously still reinforce them. You know what? I could even get rid of these guys. Yeah, just get out of here. We cannot! Okay, that allows me to take these guys out with hopefully zero losses. Go ahead and execute them to keep our military allies happy. Now let's launch the attack. Now is this one that I actually feel like fighting? Not really. Yeah, not really. Let's go ahead and auto-resolve it. 88% of our force remaining. We'll just go with a balanced stance. Hopefully our cavalry doesn't kill itself. Cavalry killed itself. Great. Stupid auto-resolve. Over here, let's not loot. Let's just occupy, because I need the population to sustain an offensive. Let's go ahead and convert that. This is going to slow me down pretty bad. But I think it's important to make sure my guys get some replenishment quickly. Let's uh, see, with that cavalry so messed up, man, I hate how the AI just throws cavalry in an auto-resolve. It's kind of stupid. It's like it's a siege battle. You shouldn't really be using cavalry that much at all if you're attacking because they just can't do anything against walls. But the AI is like, oh no, throw in the cavalry first. Works out great when you're defending, though. So I guess it's a two-edged sword. Man, that sucks. And I really, really don't want to lose these units. Because they're very good units, and they have gotten all the way up to rank 7. Alright, well... We should... I just stuttered pretty hard, that was weird. We should still be strong enough to hold that pretty easily. Once these forces get bulked up, we can send them through. Our, the Arverni are probably in the middle of recruiting another army right now. So, if my cavalry hadn't gotten so messed up, I could have gotten way more aggressive against them. But as it stands, I think I will probably play a little bit defensive out here for a few turns and let my forces rebuild and regroup. I just need more armies, man. Another thing I could do down here is try and bait some of these forces by leaving one of these settlements undefended. And then, if they attack and take it, I could just counterattack and kill their forces with my armies. Because I'm quite confident that these armies... Basically, if I twin-stacked any of these, they could take on a Carthaginian 20-stack and a Carthaginian fleet. It'd be a hell of a battle. But I'm, excuse me, I'm pretty confident I could do it. Let's see, now who would I rather have in Spain? Because whichever army I pull out is going to go to Spain. Just to help me take as much ground as possible. I'm counting how many units of foreigners each army has, because I'm trying to figure out their replenishment rates. Which ones will take the least population. Okay, so that one has five. So this one has the most foreigners. And you know what I'll do? Well, no, what I was thinking is I'll leave this city as the undefended one. Because it would have the strongest garrison and it would have walls. But I don't want to have to retake a city with walls. Okay, so Bendy's chosen. I know you just got down here, but you're going back up. See, when you can't make up your mind in DEI, it costs you a lot of turns, and those turns are enough for the AI to rebuild pretty fast. Okay, so let's pop you over into Syracuse. We can leave this one undefended because it's not tied to my recruitment here. Thirsty for battle! 
Okay, let's see if we can use that to bait an attack. So I need to start eliminating the Carthaginian forces. Alright, is that all I need to do this turn? Let me check my agents. My income is still good. I need to double check and make sure we're not at a boosted tax rate, though. Okay, we lost our foothold in Thapsikos. Which is really unfortunate, but we're hoping to take that back next turn. Let's go ahead and move on down here. Let's see what we see. There's that Nabataean army. Okay, so nothing too scary here, just a lot of numbers. The fact that these are camel units means they would actually do pretty well against my cavalry. Because camels scare cav. Or they scare horses. Now, if these guys decide to declare war on me and take Edessa right now, I'm going to be at least mildly upset. Heralds of Death have to sit still. Okay, I think everyone has moved how they need to. Loyalty is not looking great, but it is managed. We don't have the populist. Okay, we do have the populist thing, so we do have our taxes boosted right now. What we'll do here is send this lady on a mission to boost public order somewhere. Let's go ahead and send her here. That'll put that group into positive loyalty, which we can then use. I need to scroll back out to this guy we can then use to send this guy to boost his influence and boost their loyalty a little more. Just throwing money at the problem. If I were to unboost my taxes, I actually don't lose as much as I was kind of expecting. That's still like 13,000, right? Yeah, something like that, but it's not horrible. But I think I'd rather have the income for another couple of turns because we've actually gone into the hole on income this turn. Okay, let's end the turn and go on. The phalanx only stands when all do their part as brothers. Do you need our help against your enemy? See, there's not really any point in me accepting this because they're not going to do anything about the pirates. It's just the AI's way of asking for money. And I will put my money to better use than you will, Pergamon. Token, perhaps. Yeah. Oh, Bendy Dora again. 
Okay, that really, really helps that we've had, we've gotten that mission completed just now. We will get that one instantly, so hopefully we've got some of the bonus objectives done. Okay, we can boost our taxes and get an extra almost 10,000, so let's do that. Because we definitely have more than 120 units. That's six full stack armies, and we've got 14 almost full stack armies. I really don't like that these guys keep hovering around my armies. It's getting annoying, you know. Let's move the Fury in first, just to make sure nothing untoward is going to happen. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. We actually can't reach the settlement. Moving that far, we can't reach the settlement, so we have to launch the attack with the Fury. That's okay. Alright, this battle may honestly put us over our time limit, because it's going to take a while to kill all of these pikes. Eight units of pikes. A bunch of decent cavalry, not a ton of, well, that's all missile troops. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten maybe units of missiles. In terms of cavalry, we are outmatched quite heavily, I believe. One, two, three, no, that's not cavalry. Two, three, four, five units of cav, six, seven, eight, versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're actually, we outmatch their cavalry. I hate that their garrison is instantly full. Those units shouldn't be at such high health automatically, but anyway, let's start. At least it's a decent battlefield. I am still a little bit annoyed that the enemy sallied out. But at least it's a decent battlefield. Now I need to keep room to maneuver. Because I don't want to engage their pikes head on. And by me, I don't want to, I mean I can't afford to. Because hoplites are good, but they should lose to pikes every time. Let's see. Let's have these guys as our anti-cav support out here. These guys can be our current reserve force. These guys we need to have ready to shoot the pikes to death. You can hang out over here for a minute. You can hang out here for a minute. I'm hoping to not need to use my generals because my luck with generals is that they just die when the unit is at like 90% health. Whatever tactics they employ, however many men we lose, however bad it may look, remember, I have seen it all before and survived it. With me beside you, you cannot fail. My with that general, we cannot fail. Thank goodness. I would have been worried about failing otherwise. Okay. Let's let everyone get on the field. We'll immediately give orders to the ballista, because it needs to get moving quickly. I need the other one to enter the field, too. Candy's Conquerors have two ballista, right? 
I was sure I had two ballista in this army. Am I just being blind? Oh, there it is. It sucks that it's the last unit to come in. Okay, as soon as it gets in here, we'll reorganize and get the troops moving. Oh my goodness gracious, this is taking too long. There we go. A couple more units of archers. Please don't glitch out. Sometimes, very, very infrequently, but on occasion, the AI will glitch out when they're entering the battlefield, and they'll just sit outside of the combat zone. All right, archers, all of you together. On guard mode and fire at will. I want to stay relatively densely packed so that we can focus fire effectively. Uh, it might be good to just keep the artillery up here. is going on? Oh, there it is. There's the impasse. Impassable terrain. It's pretty steep. I can see why you wouldn't want to move on it. Okay, artillery. Just get over here as quick as you can. Our left side cavalry is taken care of. Let's get our right side cavalry. So our right side is all technically skirmish cav. That's a lot of archers. Okay, we have a really, really good melee force out here. Just need to get it a little bit more organized so I can actually handle it. Because I'm so bad at the micro. Let's actually move these spears up here real quick just so that my swords are little easier to select because I like having units work together when they're the same. Okay, Spears, you come to this side. Pfft, golly, why did I left click? Spears, you come out here, help the cavalry. You guys will be my flex force. Hang out on this side. You guys will be my reserve force. Hang out in the center. Let's actually bring the generals back out of there a little bit and put these swords more in the middle. Okay, now is that everyone taken care of? If I can, I want to get these guys hidden, but I guess it's not really going to matter because the AI is probably just going to rush over here anyway. Now what I'm thinking is, my hoplites won't beat the pikes, but they will survive long enough that I can get around behind the pikes. So my thinking is, hopefully hold the enemy main line in place with the hoplites and hit them in the flank with this enormous force. What I wouldn't be surprised to see is excuse me, the AI gets drawn into my flank, and then I have to reposition my whole army. That's why I want to hide them as much as I can. Okay, let's go ahead and fast forward for a minute. Start moving these guys up a little. I would like to engage and destroy their cavalry quickly. Now, since I'm attacking, maybe... Oh! Well, that was good to see. It looks like that may have been the Sacred Squadron, too. No, they're not heavy enough armed. No, maybe. Yeah, they might have just run their Sacred Squadron cav right over the top of their own caltrops. Yep, they definitely did. Heck yeah. Okay, artillery is still not in position. Let's go ahead and have this force rotate to face just a little bit. Have the cavalry and the spears move forward. Have these swords go hide in the bushes if you can. Uh, 
artillery still wouldn't quite be in range anyway, so it's okay that we're not in position just yet, because we're not missing out on any shots here. As long as that second piece gets in range momentarily. Okay, now we need to find the pikes and shoot them first. Obviously, these light units are not going to be pikes. Unfortunately, a lot of them are still phalanx infantry, so they won't be quite so easy to break. Okay, let's bring the cavalry back just a bit here. Second artillery piece hasn't quite lined up just yet. First one, let's go ahead and get a shot out there. Get a shot right here and just hope for the best. That's actually going to be... A, oh, is that going to be a perfect shot? Not bad. All right. Okay, now you target the pikes directly. I'm not sure what I'm shooting into over here. But I'm going to keep shooting. Okay, here's some pikes. Let's shoot them. Once they get in range of the archers, we will have the archers focus fire. I'm probably going to have to do a lot of this fight on slow motion. I'll try and do it on slow motion instead of pausing it but I want to actually win, you know? Okay, archers actually need to go a bit tighter because I don't have as wide of a front line as I thought. Let's move up to here and protect the front line a little more. Go ahead and move the cheaper units up to protect the front line. You guys can all fall back a little bit, try and draw their cavalry in because we want to get the cavalry away from their spears before we engage. Okay, you guys pull back a little bit. You guys can go ahead and fire well. I'm okay with you spending your javelins on cavalry. Just try and do it all on the same unit if you can. Our hidden units have been discovered. Okay, let's turn around and charge their cavalry. Let's try and trap this unit out here. Come on. Okay, archers, you are on fire at will, thank goodness. You four, find some pikes. You four, find some pikes. Now, the artillery, I thought I had this one targeting it. The unit must have gotten hidden again. Um, units, shoot some Greek spearmen. I don't want to accidentally start shooting my own guys with the artillery just because I'm not being careful enough. Okay, we did get charged here, but that's alright because we have drawn them into our trap. These guys, whoever has ammo remaining, throw it at the missile cavalry. I need to look back at the other side now. Okay, you guys run forward. You guys get up there and help out. You guys actually chase that unit. You guys keep working around the flank. Okay, if their cav is going to run away, we're going to chase them. Front line still hasn't One engaged yet. Has Artillery is not currently shooting at anything on the front line. Here comes some pikes. You know what, if I rush the hoplites in, we could actually catch them out of phalanx. That might be a good idea, but I'm, I don't dare. We're not even going to worry about their missiles yet. Chase them. Why are you guys stopping? Okay, get around behind them. We've almost caught that unit. Okay, if we can force them into their own units, maybe that'll slow them down a little bit, and then we can catch them and kill them. Let's get back out to the other side, where things are not going quite so smoothly. Our archers are ripping those guys to shreds, which is awesome. Let's bring some of these guys out to protect the artillery a little what bit. The artillery now needs to change ammunition? targets away from our front line. 
So shoot that pike unit now. Cavalry out here. Ah, sugar. Okay, you guys pull back. No need to engage that, just pull back. Okay, we're looking all right. I don't love getting shot here, but it's just a unit of 55 archers, not a big deal. They're not gonna be able to do enough damage to kill that unit quickly, so I think we're okay. Okay, you three, you four archers still have a target. So, wait a minute, do you? Okay, hit those guys, because they're on our front line. You lot, there's got to be a unit of pikes somewhere, right? On our front line? Yes, hit them. Okay, you guys quit moving around. You guys charge out there, take them on. You guys keep wrapping around the flank. Actually, I'm just going to give you guys an outright attack order. Uh, you know what, you guys might need to attack these units. Okay, keep pulling back in the center to draw those pikes in. I need to get back to the other side of the battlefield quickly. One of our units our front line our should be able to hold out just fine. Artillery still isn't doing any friendly fire, which is good. You guys keep chasing as much as you can. It looks like we've gotten rid of one unit. Okay, they've gotten a unit behind us. So let's send the generals in. I'm feeling okay on this flank, so I'm not going to send the general in over here. You guys have beaten your assigned, assigned, your assigned target. You guys reform a little bit. That's not pikes, I don't think, so I'm not even going to worry about them. Okay, you guys get over here and help reinforce. Um, infantry, I guess, go for it. These guys aren't out of ammo. Why did they go in and attack? You guys actually fall back a little bit. We'll have to use the cavalry as the aggressors. Come on. Okay, chase into those guys. You guys just hold your position, that's fine. Okay. You guys start working on trapping that cavalry again. You guys start thinking about the infantry. The artillery is almost out of ammo. The archers are still shooting their stuff. Okay, our front line is still looking healthy, so we're looking okay there. You know what? You guys shift and take out this unit. You guys can go ahead and just have an attack order. You three pull back, get ready to help out. With, actually, don't pull back anymore. Go help out with the pikes. Our general is under attack. Yep, general's supposed to be under attack. I sent him in. Um, you guys just run off those peltists. Archers who are not on fire at will kill their general, or they. Wait, these guys aren't. Wait, are they? I guess my archers are not on fire at will. That's weird. I thought they were. Okay. Um, our phalanx should beat their phalanx, so let's start dealing with their missiles. With the exception of that general, who still has a mostly healthy unit. Okay, we've chased off the peltus a little bit, so let's reform. You guys. One of our units has used all its ammunition. You guys keep chasing in. I think I misclicked over here or something. Generals have almost dealt with their target, so we can start wrapping around now that their cavalry's almost dead. I'm pretty confident in my front line right now because I've dealt with a lot of their pikes already. At least a lot of their pikes that are on the front line. Crap. Okay, archers, new assignment, pikes. Are they even in range? Just barely, okay. I know we're shooting them in the front, but that's kind of what we have to do right now. I could really do with one of these generals one back on the other flank. Yeah, you can go ahead and have an attack order on there. Okay, we're gonna take the javelin fire. Not a big deal. 
because we can move out and engage these guys. We should be able to win these pretty decisively. Okay, the Peltas actually are a little bit of a big deal because they can do very, very high damage. Front line's still looking pretty healthy. We do have a couple of options for reserves if we need them. I sent another unit into the flank of these guys, didn't I? I could swear I had two units here. Okay, well, that's pikes, and we're engaging them from the front, so just get out of there. No reason to be doing something stupid like that. Okay, is that a sword infantry? Okay, you guys can go hit the pikes. You guys sit just away from the pikes. You guys actually come back to the center. You're not doing much out here. Cavalry dealt with their targets. We did not get a charge here, so that is going to be a problem. General, we're actually looking okay back there. Now nah, you're going to keep coming this way anyway and help deal with that unit of spears, because we I want a little bit of extra protection for my... Uh, artillery. They're not going to die, but I don't want them to even get hit. Okay, you guys go help out over here. You guys keep running through. They look like they're out of ammo. Thank goodness. Okay, how are we going on this flank? These guys are getting surrounded quite heavily, and a lot of it is pikes, so we need to start. Oh, you cheating bastards. Don't just run through my unit. Hoplites, engage them. Now, I know I haven't given orders on most of my front line here, so they're not fighting optimally. Okay, we've hit those pikes. Let's keep wrapping around them. You guys come over here. We do have one unit of info. Shit. Not what I wanted to do. You guys sit tight. Archers, you get a new move order. I hate when I do stuff like this, man. Hate it. Okay, we're not actually able to do much damage to the pikes directly because they are all kind of mixed into their other units. Let's go ahead and hit that one, though. Let's charge it as well. We're going to need an extra unit of infantry over here in just a moment, so we need to get one of these guys to win. Oh, look, extra infantry. Oops, one of these guys was supposed to be attacking the pikes. Okay, they still have their attack order. Now, this is what I meant to do, is just run the infantry to the center as quickly as we can. Cavalry start dealing with their missiles. Okay, we've got the Peltus engaged, which is good news. Let's go ahead and play. You guys have gotten your charge, so pull back. You guys lock that cavalry in place. Ah, oh, shit, that's another unit that I messed up. Okay, we're gonna have plenty of reinforcements over here in just a moment. Because we're about to clean up this flank. Okay, you guys keep rotating. You guys get around on that. You guys come through. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Okay, we need to start worrying about the pikes a little bit. Let's pull the archers that are in melee back out so that they aren't getting killed needlessly. These guys are getting hurt pretty bad. Where are they? Okay, yeah, so that unit's going to die. Sometimes you gotta make the tough calls. That's not really a tough call because I'm okay with them dying. You guys come over here. One of you guys go ahead and charge into the back of that. Just get them off the field. You guys need to get out of there because they came back and surrounded you. Ooh, did they turn around on that? You need to be really, really careful to not charge their pikes with my cav. There's not a lot of good ways to instant kill a unit of cavalry, but that's one of them. Okay, you guys did what you needed to get back up to the front line and ready to help out. Cavalry, start pulling back out of your fights. You guys go ahead and kill whatever runs through you, that's fine. Okay, we've got infantry around their flanks in many positions now. 
Front line's holding up okay. This unit of hoplites is struggling mightily against the pikes. But they are still getting some kills. Start chasing down some of these breaking units and bring the infantry in to do the actual work. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Don't really care about chasing down that unit of light melee infantry at all. You guys go through that gap, you guys come around this gap. You guys are on fire at will, so just no. I press the F key. I have the wrong unit selected. They don't have any more ammo. Okay, archers, that's okay. Go hold them in place. Our front line is still surviving. Yep, front line's still holding. They're not happy, but they're holding. Start running through the center. We'll bring the general over here. I'm not sure why those guys got engaged, but they did. Okay, who's not doing anything useful? Uh, can't charge that. With the cav, at least. So you actually go chase that unit. You guys come back to the center. Okay, we've got some guys losing against pikes pretty bad. But we've got the infantry here to help now. Okay, we got the whole unit in on their flank over here. Some of their stuff is starting to return, so let's get the cavalry ready to deal with it. Let's actually get a couple of units of infantry ready to help with it as well. You guys are winning decisively, so we'll go ahead and leave you in there, pull you guys into the back of that. General, just get up to the front line and make sure everyone's happy. Okay, our boys are killing the pikes. You know what, if they're gonna engage us like that, let's just back off. Nope, there it is, they're broken, kill them. We have no missiles remaining. What the heck? Oh, they must have had, yeah, they had more than 40 units. Okay, let's start getting a second front line established. You guys can keep killing the pikes though. You guys reestablish. You guys, all together, are my new front line. Okay, you guys turn around. You guys actually go hit that. Okay, we're starting to do some good work over here. Gonna want this cavalry back up to the front. Okay, we caught their unit. Main thing is I don't want to get shot right now, so let's just get the cavalry ready to go in. Okay, you guys are ready. Let's pull you back a little bit. Am I just now turning in our favor, huh? Okay, let's keep this box a little bit formed up so we can just maximize our kills here. Get as many of them out of here as possible. Dealt with that unit of very heavy melee infantry. Start pulling these guys back up to the front line. There goes an enemy general. They should start routing soon, right? They've even used their own spike traps to kill themselves, so that's very polite of them. Okay, we got our cavalry ready. We have our secondary line established. These guys are all pretty healthy, so I'm fine using them in a fight. But if they're going to come to me, I'm going to let them come to me. All right, let's see. Injured hoplites, stay out of it. Healthy hoplites, break phalanx, move up here. We're not gonna need you in phalanx, I don't think, but. Okay, cavalry, get involved. Send two units in there. Keep two units free. Start moving these guys up a little bit. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Any of our soldiers that are in very poor health. 
Okay, this is why we kept some units free. This way we can send one unit over here, keep the other unit engaged. Holy shit, they have more infantry than I was expecting. Okay, all of you guys start charging. One unit gone. Let's take out the second one. Get ready to hit the third, and then move the infantry in towards the fourth. We'll run down as much of this as possible. Shouldn't have pulled back the infantry, but it's okay. It's going to be a bit of a cluster in here. We are going up against some spears, and we are using melee ca or missile cavalry to do it. But I'm feeling okay about it, because they should route on their own. Okay, we'll continue this so we can run them down. Gotta be careful with our cavalry out here because they might still have some anti-cav traps. Okay, let's pull you guys back to the main line. One of you can chase that unit. Now we'll just fast forward the rest of it out. And just make sure our cavalry doesn't hit any of this. Are you guys running? Just the forest slows them down that much. Of course, we're also running through heaps of enemy soldiers that are trying to retreat, so I guess it's kind of understandable that they're slow. Okay, I don't see any anti-cav traps here, so I should be fine to just chase them. It's alright if we lose one or two to a hidden spike trap. You guys switch targets because that unit is probably gone. That unit is definitely gone. I guess you guys get back out here and keep chasing down this unit. Oh, they're not even going to go out here. They're going to go for some Our hidden units have been discovered. All the way over there. All right, well, let's end it here. It looks like our line stayed pretty healthy. Obviously, we did take some damage, but I don't think we lost any units, so pretty good result. Now, I didn't give my hoplites attack orders because I just really couldn't afford their formations getting broken up. So they didn't get as many kills as they probably should have. But they still got quite a few. I'm really, really happy with this unit. Some of my cavalry got just stupid. Yeah, this one got stupid amounts of kills. Everyone stayed pretty healthy in this army. Let's see what this army did, actually. So this general did great. I don't think these guys even got to fight, they just got the auto-resolve numbers. Okay, these guys actually did pretty well. Given that they're not a very good unit and they ended up going up against Phalanx Infantry, they did pretty well. Artillery didn't get a ton of kills, and it's like the missiles, they didn't get a ton of kills, but remember almost all of these were pikemen. So they were very, very important kills. Now let's occupy it. Hopefully they didn't have enough time to dismantle it. Thank the Maker. As always, we still lost all of our population. 
But now, all of a sudden, we own this province. We can move Candy's Conquerors in close enough to stay reinforced. If there was any decent melee infantry here to recruit, I would probably merge these guys out. I could always pick up some war elephants, but I don't want to deal with elephants right now. Okay, it took some heavy damage, but dealt way more damage, so I'm happy with that. Out here, these guys are still going to need a while to replenish, but they're not getting attacked yet. Let's see, let's get these buildings going, and then I think we'll end the episode here. We already have some recruitment available. Let's go for some economy and maybe some public order. Is that the right call? I don't know, it'll be alright. It'll do well enough, I suppose. I'm not going to bother with anything in Odessa, because it's still a potentially overrun province. These guys have a little bit more movement. You remember that time when I said I was just going to end the episode? You see how I'm not ending it? I get so distracted when I play this game. Alright, we'll end it here. We'll, prob we'll continue with our troop movement over in the west and we will see you guys in the next one.